Jen Ujia, thanks so much for joining us today. My pleasure. So tell me about RiskAware, this project that you're working on in Georgia. RiskAware is a community science project uh, supported by AGU, Thriving Earth Exchange. We work with a community in Adel, Georgia. The community is very concerned about a potential establishment of wood pellet uh, plant in the area because that, uh, the proposal of that factory took a lot of shortcuts in, the, in terms of EPA regulations and due processes in policy making. Um, so the community were very concerned and decided to reach out uh, to HEU and see if it, uh, it can hire or connect with scientists to work together with them to build a network of, to uh, monitor the air qualities in their in neighborhood and increase the, the awareness of environmental health risks in the community. Okay. And you said this is part of one of the Thriving Earth Exchange projects. Can you tell me a little bit more about what that is? Thriving Earth Exchange is AGU's powerhouse of uh, community science. It, uh, it connects communities with scientists, uh, scientists um, project managers, and other people who are interested in community science project and uh, want to turn their expertise into a, an influence in the real world. So they get to take the science that they're doing all this work on and then have a, an, a practical application for it out in society. Exactly. How does this community collaboration help with the kind of science that you're working on? It's very important to, to do field work and connect with people you're working with. So as a geospatial and remote sensing expert in training, I do very little field work, uh, which might be okay for my own research, but it's not okay for community science projects like this. So when I was in the field, I was able to experience the community, listen to their concerns, understand their life, and so that I will have a better understanding on how, uh, how people are actually living and what your scientific findings may have the impact on the community. If that's the case, do you think that's the right way to the community will benefit from? Or is this something uh, pushed towards the community very condescendingly from up above? So I was able to use this experience to reward my, um, to just to be uh, benefit my own research uh, instead of just always thinking the data. It's actually very important to go to the field, understand uh, understand the city area, not just from satellite images, not, not just from Google Street views, but also it's very important to really experience that and uh, have that immersed, uh, immersive experience is very important. It's going to help you discover something you will not be able to realize if you're just looking at the data. Yeah. So communication is obviously then very important to this kind of work. Um, open science, making sure people find it accessible, other scientists, the people you're working with. How does coming to a big meeting like AGU 23 help kind of push forward what you're doing? AGU is definitely a hub of science. It connects people. It connects people from various different type of backgrounds. And this is the best way to see the top level of science and talk with people you really don't really have connection with. This is so-called weak connection. I've heard this a lot. It can help people, especially those in the, uh, in the early career, to build more connections and, uh, and, and impact empower them through uh, potential uh, collaborations and new ideas. I think that's the best way to stay connected and attend AGU and communicate a lot with the fellow scientists, even if you, you don't know them. Yeah, I can imagine. What advice would you have for new scientists about engaging with and contributing to community science? I would say be open. Uh, be open to an alternative answer to a question. Be critical about things you're reading and try to get the uh, get word out and spread the word as early as you can. Publish in a journal, uh, publish in scientific journals can be a good option, but blogging, uh, submitting to a student newspaper, and attending uh, interviews like this would be a very great experience as well. Shen Yujia, thank you so much for coming in today. Thank you so much.